Hello, hello everybody. I thought I'd skip the uh, long intro tonight just because, well, it's a slightly different type of stream, isn't it? Hello everyone, how are we? Wednesday night. It's not Wednesday night, it's Monday night. Wednesday night is uh, it's the usual night, but we thought we'd throw an extra one in today. Um, it came out last night. I had it for a few days and didn't have a chance to uh, get a chance to get it up. And... Uh, uh, recorded just because there was so much going on so um, yeah we uh, we're gonna do a live we're gonna do a live so um, yeah DJ modding has come out with Red River Valley uh, and as as always with DJ's maps they they have the, they're unique right you know we look at everything that he's done before from Upper, Upper Mississippi River Valley, Deer Country. There's always something really nice about them that's very unique. Uh, you know, Deer Country with the with the John Deere factory in it, uh, it jumps to mind straight away. So, Red River Valley is um, it's just a really really nice map. So I thought I would show you um, a few things about it. But I just want to show you here. This is this is what I really really like about uh, DJ. He's he's really one for saying thank you to everybody that helps him. So uh, there you go, Mr. Argsy Gaming up there. There's a name up in lights. Uh, as myself, obviously, Kadirk, Prestige, Farmer Klein, Trucker Matsy, and you know, all the boys are there. Look, I'm not sure who these two characters are. They always seem to crop up, but uh, um, there we go. And loads of credits here for everybody that's helped supply uh, placeables for the map or helped them with textures and things like that. So um, it's really, really nice to see that. Look, all the map makers that have. Uh, thrown their support in for him as well so it's great to see that um he's, he's really great at, at saying thank you it's a very noisy train over the back here but uh let's run over here we've got ourselves a rather nice 1986 ford truck uh anybody who wants it i have done the right thing and i've put it in the description below uh but uh from retro mods fantastic fantastic model um so let's jump in and let's have a look at the pda to start with so what we've got here and what makes this unique if you haven't already studied this and i know a few of you've done it and mighty mike's done a good map tour today which i watched which was very good mike um what makes this slightly different is you're you're going between two county lines and you're going between two country lines so this line here is the border between the united states so everything south of this border is the united states everything north is canada pretty cool right uh, and then down here running along the length of the river here you've got the state line between north dakota on the left of the river and minnesota on the right so what's happened here as you can see this is based on a real area as dj always does a real area of the world so a legit photo there behind uh, the field maps and stuff like that. But we've got two towns, um, and they're quintessentially DJ when you go into them. Um, so all your firm favourites there. And then uh, a nice split of fields. There are four named farms as well. Uh, one, two, three, four. But there are other um, small holdings sitting about with grain bins and things in them as well. So that's actually quite a lot of options available to you here um so there we go um i will read the chat when i can but i don't want you guys to miss out on kind of all the stuff that's in this in this map because it's so good so what we'll do we will jump in here uh we will bring up the mini map because somebody said to me once please don't do a map tour but not show us where we are on the map below so uh so there we go so what we've got here um, and there is tons and tons of stuff here. So obviously fuel points. There's a BK there if you're hungry. Uh, over here is our first grain uh, cell point. That's a that very noisy train there. Um, but we've got our, our first grain tipping point here. We are on the North Dakota side at the moment. So you can drop your uh, grain off here. So we'll just run loop through here. The way bridge does work. And you can bring yourself back onto the road. 
There we go. That lifts up. But lovely, as DJ always does, he does a brilliant job of decorating his um, his towns. They feel like proper towns. It doesn't feel like you know buildings have just been dropped onto the map. So uh, really nice from that perspective. Um, there is behind here actually. There is another cell point behind the bar. In fact, I'll pop up the cell points in a second because uh, there are so many of them. But I believe there's a bar here. So this one here that we're looking at now. Oh, that's the market. But if you look at uh, if you look at the amount of cell points on this map, you are spoilt for choice. Loads of feed. There's an ethanol plant. Um, there's a few co-ops in there as well. But there's a bar. There's a dairy. Um, there's a Dollar General store, so again, lots and lots of uh, added crops as well. Uh, so we've got alfalfa in there as well, corn stalks, um, soybean stalks as well, dry corn as well. So there's corn dryers here, you can use the global company's dryers. Uh, and obviously uh, the whiskey distillery as well, which is really nice to see. That was a lovely addition. Um, so yes, lots and lots of scope for uh, different sell points in here. We won't go through them all though. As with all of my map tours, I like uh, I like to let you discover stuff yourself. And there's the man himself, DJ Modding. Thanks for joining, man. We are just um, just enjoying the start of the tour here. So we're still in North Dakota, um, and there we go. The football field already. What's the score? Oh, our home team smashed it. Look at that. 21-7. 21-7. So, um, like I said, loads and loads of brilliant uh, placeables in this. And then we kind of creep out into our first look at the fields. I'm going to stay on the North Dakota side just for a little while. And we'll go and have a look at some of the farmland and things like that. Um, so there's a big case dealership in there. So a large shop on this side that you can buy stuff. Um nice town hall there as well the obligatory water tower which is a bit of a bit of a dj signature actually isn't it he always makes a point of putting a nice water tower in with a with the town logo on it um but we'll head down here because there's a bj in the corner which i want to show you as well and i think just a big thanks i think you can see dj from the amount of response here um i think a lot of people are appreciative of all you modders that have kept delivering fs19 mods even though we know FS22 is just around the corner because there's some really, really nice stuff that's been coming out in the last few weeks. And for you to release a map like this uh, is brilliant. It'll keep us going just that little bit longer. Um, so here we go. Lovely, nice big BGA. Some nice silage bunkers in there. You know, my uh, current love of silage. Uh, that's going to be brilliant. Um, so nice to see those. And a uh, nice little Easter egg there. Little DJ in the tyres. Nice touch, my friend. Nice touch. Um, link to the map is in the uh, description as well. I popped it in there. Um, I was too slow getting the vid out, hence the reason I'm doing this. But I did want to share it because uh, because DJ does some awesome stuff. Now, um, interactive map tour. What would you like to see next? Do you want to go up the left-hand side here? And have a look at everything up to the state line or do you want to go across the way into minnesota have a look at the other have a look at the other uh, town first and then head up and we'll we'll work our way up so let me know i've actually switched my settings of my um stream so we're uh, so we're almost real time i'm interacting with you real time and dj suggested we do border crossings first he wins Hi all, do you need any other mods with this map? Stuart, yes, you need to have global companies for the grain dryers. If you want to dry your corn, that is. If you don't want to dry your corn, that's fine. You don't need to use them. Uh, but global companies is a good one, and for the whiskey. Uh, and the other thing that DJ recommends is uh, augers. So some of the bins, uh, like uh, a lot of the bins that MRG uses, um, you need uh, an augers for them. In fact, I popped, I popped a Westfield auger, which is a one I would recommend uh, just in here we'll maybe load one in later on and I'll show you how they work 
Um, so, yes, we're just going to run up here because there's something quite cool here. As we cross over the border into uh, Canada... Look, there we go. Canada Border Services Agency, welcome to Canada. And you've got to stop at the border. There we go. Canada Border Services Agency, welcome to Canada. You've reached the Canadian-US border. Oh, I've missed it now. Um, but a nice little bit of blurb there, explaining what you need to do. And you're on the other side of the country, and into Manitoba. So there you go. Doesn't look very different, does it? Just making sure Clutch isn't, like, wheeling a combine around here or something like that. Uh, but let's run up to the first uh, named farm. It's very good, DJ. I like it. I like the... Uh, I like the... Uh, it's just nice. Character. I was saying before you arrived, your maps have their own very special character. You always do something unique in them. And that... Like Deer Country, you put the John Deere... Uh, factory and stuff and, and this with the with the borders it's clever people haven't done that before so here we've got um just a little small hole that looks like an animal uh little animal point there um i've lost my bearings already i'm too high up farms here <laughs> there we go oh sorry that's why i put two signs up because he knew i'd knock one over so we'll head down here. First farm. There you go. Clayton, you're at home, mate. In your province. So, yes, we'll head here. And this is uh, the layout of these farms is really nice. Nice compact farms. They're not huge farms, which is quite nice, I think. Um, nice to see. Uh, but here, we've got the lovely grain dryers, which will show you wet corn in and dry corn in. Um, and all you need to do, if you've got global companies activated, um, I haven't got the land purchased uh, but the start farm is over here uh, but if you bought this land here and bought this farm uh, this would show up in your global companies menu here but old maple farms is is one of them here and if I open the overview menu here corn dryer you basically put your corn in you purchase your propane here like so so I've maxed that out already uh, drop your corn in and it will run until the corn is dry. And the benefit of doing dry corn um, is, if I jump back into here, we look at the price of standard corn. There you go. Anything in the region of $700 to $455 uh, dry corn. There you go, CHS Co-op, over 1000 So uh, there is benefit, a little bit of extra work. But uh, a lot of benefit in doing it that way. Um, again, something something we've seen on other maps, but a lovely, great, uh, immersive thing to see added to maps. I really like it. Um, alongside that, I would say um, DJ's added anhydrous in as well. So again, if you want to, to plant anhydrous, you do need to buy the relevant... Uh, buy? Download the, res <laughs> the relevant mods to use anhydrous but um, we all know there's a lot of good stuff out there I think JS mapping have got some good stuff um, uh, that you can download from their discord um, and you can find some stuff elsewhere as well um, field sizes they look great actually they're decent sized fields um, you've got a big mixture of stuff that you can choose from here um, let's have a look uh, you know relatively decent sized fields uh, for for a standard size map you've got some decent fields 17 there uh, three five i mean you can see those they're the ones we're next to at the moment um but uh, i don't have precision farming so i don't have the detail but uh, nice size fields that um as you can see you know just have a, a eyeball it here um they will keep you busy but you could get through quite a lot of different fields in, in a relatively short amount of time. It actually lends itself to being a really, really um, good map for YouTubers. Because you could get through a lot of different variety of work in a, in a relatively short amount of time. So there's farm one. What we'll do, we'll go in a little bit of a clockwise action around. There's me observing stop signs as per usual. We're going a little bit of a clockwise manner around the map now, so we'll head along here. Uh, we'll have a look at these because these are the these are slightly smaller um, small holdings, shall we call them? 
um, where you've got the old-fashioned bins. So uh, it does feel big, though. I I agree with you guys in the comments. I mean, look at this field here. It's colossal. Field four here. That's the other end of the one we were just turning at before. It's huge. Um, so some nice sized fields. You've done a brilliant job of uh, making it feel big. So we'll head over here, across the railway line. So yes, we've got these small holdings here, these small farms. That is the crop production services, so I'm guessing that is your um, bulk and anhydrous load points there. So there you go. Pick up your uh, pick up your seed and stuff like that, and then over here, kind of additional storage bin placeables. Um, so if I jump out here, I have got um, store deliveries on. So we'll just pop an auger in here, just to show you how it works. So what you need to do, if you've never used these, if you're not a uh, somebody who uses MRG. MRG's um, maps. He uses these quite a lot. Uh, I wonder if I can hook this up now. Probably haven't got the right um, setting on it. It does. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Good evening, Maddie Fi. How are you doing? Uh, James has already started on the map. You enjoying it, James? So there we go. You just raise up your uh, auger like so and you got to make sure it's aligned over the bin like so and you've got to do a little bit of jiggery pokery to make sure that you you're in the right place with it like some clever camera movements but um once you're in the right place you can load them up so there you go. So do bear that in mind. It's actually quite a nice way to play the game with those old, uh, with those old silos. If you've never done it, I'd strongly recommend giving it a bash because it is quite fun. Again, look at the size of these. There's the train passing as well over there. It's always nice to see a moving train on the map. Uh, it is only a, a decorative one, as uh, DJ's just saying there. And there you go. It has its own. Uh, Seasons Geo built in. It is Seasons ready. So uh, a nice northern uh, northern Geo going on it as well. And into here we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of woodland as well. Wouldn't be Canada without the option to do a little bit of log. So this is quite a nice little detail. So if you want to do a little bit of logging, there's a fully fledged forest here with a lot of trees and imagine that once you've uh, once you've cleared these well you could go after that more field space there so and then you're down by the river and over the other side as well six strings this is the problem right there's just too many good maps these days got to make a conscious decision to pick one and go for it so there you go. Hunters from Grand Forks, North Dakota. So this is awesome. Great. Glad you love it, Hunter. Glad you love it. So we can head along here a little bit further. It feels huge. I can't believe I'm on a standard size map and I'm still tr he heading across... across the map. Crazy. So more, um, more woodland in there. Still on the right side of the road. Avoid getting hit by the train. So we'll just head along to the end. This is just more farmland here. As you can see, there's a couple more farms down there we'll head to. But you can head down here, more entrances into your fields, slightly smaller fields here, uh, but still decent sizes. And we'll just do a U-turn there. So again, we'll just jump back to the... We'll just jump back to the PDA to give you an idea of where we are. So there we are, very top right-hand corner now. So I said smaller fields. Look at that, field 12 is huge. That's a colossal field. It goes all the way down there. Sadly, Hunter, this will be for PC only, yes. Uh, there's just too much stuff going on in it. Too many things like productions and global company and 
uh, anhydrous multi-terrain angle lots of different things so unfortunately um, we are we are limited to PC with it look at that train that's a great train isn't it great noise as well got the got the sound down a T as well there you go Maddie Fi is doing a doing a playthrough with Country Bumpkin Canada versus America <laughs> even tried to order a double double there we go so we will let the train go past that's a good length train as well can't disagree with that patiently waiting at the gates there we go there we go so we'll follow the road around here we're still up in Canada there you go there's a little wood cell point there that's where you sell your logs and your wood chips baseball field there as well brilliant brilliant stuff um, and then we've got a big farm here this is the second named farm and as you can see here more houses still Canadian side so this is, uh, this is the uh, Canadian side of the map I'll just actually before we go to this farm here I'm gonna run down here because we've got another big cell point down here I believe but again look at the detail among the houses great great to see So there we go, big um, big cooperative here, dead ahead of us. Should find the right way into it. I haven't played this much yet, so uh, this is a this is a voyage of discovery for me as well. There you go, Tim Hortons, of course. We're the we're the right side of the border for Tim Hortons, but there we go. A lovely model. Dumpy grain in there. Get out. Go and grab a coffee while your truck's unloading. Or maybe grab a grab a McDonald's over there as well. A little Walmart as well, which is in, I believe, a cell point. If I drop behind it. Beg your pardon, it's not the Walmart that's a cell point. It is this here, which is... This is the bar. There we go, that's the bar. So Emerson Market and the bar. And at those you can sell whiskey. And at the market you can sell eggs, sugar cane. So uh, yes, a couple of places, not three places you can sell the whiskey. Applebee's, the Emerson bar, and the Pembina bar. So let's head back over here. What map is Canadian without Tim's? Exactly, my man. There we go. And this is uh, the second named farm. Like I said, there's four main named farms. Big dairy operation going on here as well. Nice to see. Love the Canadian flags everywhere as well. But everything you could need here. Fuel points. Your own repair points as well. Uh, again, another grain dryer. So each of the four named farms has a grain dryer in it, which is great. Um, nice uh, hay barn there as well. So lots and lots to do here. Now, you will see that um, uh, nothing is showing up here. Um, I don't think I've got enough money. No. Good prices as well. DJ's made it not too easy. So if you do want to buy another field, price-wise... They're pretty chunky. Look, I mean, if you want to buy a second farm, there's so 1.3 million, 500 grand, a couple of fields, three fields together there. That's a 1.1 million. So um, a nice way of uh, feeling like you're making progress, but also spending money. So, um, so let me just buy this because I want to show you. Once you buy it, you see then that the animal cell, the uh, animal point arrives, and the silo. Um, so you can see those uh, those elements of of the farm that you've just bought. So they don't appear until you bought um, until you bought the map, bought the uh, farm. So let's head down here again, just uh, edge of the map here. 
these are just tracks that go into the fields no way further through there um, but I am gonna have I crossed the border? have I cheekily run across the border? <gasps> um, state police are gonna be after me let's head back over here Let's follow the road. Let's let's be good citizens, shall we? So we'll just come back around here. I feel like all I do is wait for trains. My time is terrible. Another cell point just ahead there, next to the McDonald's. That would be... That's the dairy, so that's your milk cell point. Just zoom out a bit. Maybe McDonald's. The milk cell point there. If we follow the road round. There they go. Heading back over the border. Back into the US, there is the... Uh, US line just down here. Let's see if we can read it this time. There we go. Pull into the Nexus lane and stop your vehicle. Hold your Nexus cards before the card reader. Go inside the customs booths for a visual check. Drive across the border. And there we go. We are arriving back in Minnesota. Look at that. Cons Johnny, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, I think I got away with the fact that I just snuck over the border. Again, though, look at the field sizes. Give you a real good uh, feel for the size of the fields when you're running along the length of them. Um, great text as well. Kind of, he's put custom textures in everything here, which is great to see. I love that. We've got multi-terrain angles, so we've got 32 different angles as well, which is great. And we're going to head down here as well. Another, another cooperative. Huge, huge cooperative here, so uh, with the train, train dump behind it as well, which is nice. We head down here a little bit further, avoiding the traffic. Even the traffic feels natural here as well, right? Sometimes you get frustrated with traffic, but I feel I could manage with this traffic here. All running at a sensible speed and things like that. Right, let's just turn up here. There is another, another little small holding type farm just up here so there you go if you just want to start small you've got the opportunity to start with something like that maybe you want to run a little contract business or something like that now this farm here is the starting farm this is the farm you get at the beginning of the map um, Paul Campbell sold Need somebody to do an auto drive route for the map. I'm pretty sure there'll be one out relatively soon. So there you go. Um, animal pens, um, silo with the blower as well. And I see the new Holland blowers in there as well, already set up. Uh, and you've got the option here for old fashioned bins with an auger, but you've also got there the grain dryer as per the other farms. Slightly smaller bin set up here, but again has a dryer with it. Uh, we'll have a look at the kit as well that you get when you start the farm as well. If you're in new farmer mode. And then we go. Some nice meridian bins there. And you've actually got an auger set up. Is that auger, does that auger work? Is that one set up or is that a placeable DJ? You know, the best way to test, isn't it? Do a, let's do a live test. Yes, it works. So there you go. He's already got. He's already got it set up. So very handy on the starter farm to have that backhoe set up there, ready to use. Storing seeds and fertilizer. There we go. Now, uh, new farmer. What do you get when you start? Other than the auger which I've purchased, you get a couple of cases. 
You get a nice lizard warrior there. A case, 9240. Always good to see the V8. <laughs> the Ford truck's mine. Uh, but then a Load King, a lovely Kinsey Orga Wagon there. Uh, 45 foot header. And the Capello uh, Maze header. Or Corn header. Nice big uh, horse planter as well. And a cedar as well. So not much. You kind of have to invest in a bit of kit over and above that. But uh, that's certainly enough to kind of get yourself stuck into some uh, some harvest straight away. So lovely, lovely little farm that. Very nice indeed. Even like s subtle things like, look. The grill's there. The bins are here. Look, you can pick the bins up. Put the bins out. It's bin day. Nice, right? Who, uh... Who needs to go and do that? But DJ does it because it adds to the... Adds to the... The essence of the map, right? Love it. Love that attention to detail. Right, let's head down here. I've lost my bearings again. Like I said, it feels like a really big, uh, big map, doesn't it? So, we're back here. I think if we head this way, that heads to the end of the map. And there's the train tracks again there. So if we head back this way, and jump onto this road, this will run us into town. On the Minnesota side, and we'll visit the Minnesota town. So there you go. I mean, even just the landscaping, the grass at the side of the road, really, really nice. So it's, it's a it's a chunky map. It is. There's a lot going on. Um, but here we go. We'll pull into St. Vincent, Minnesota. So there you go. Stop for your breakfast at Wendy's if you want. There's your Dollar General, which is actually a sell point as well. You can see the sell point just there. What do we sell at Dollar General? What do we sell at the Dollar General? There we go. Dollar General, we are selling milk, eggs, sugar cane, as you would expect. Again, more houses here. Nice to see a different model as well. Look for the uh, silos here. Always nice to see that. I think this is the ethanol plant. Yeah. So this is the ethanol plant. So once you've got your dry corn, you can head in here and sell it. Nice touch. So there you go. And there is the bridge over the water into North Dakota. But again, let's have a little bit of a run around the town. See what else is lying about. There's a few John Deere's on this side. It's all case the other side. North of Gota. Oh, that's your uh, bale sell point as well. Now, D DJ said actually in his um, in in the notes for it, um, you can sell chaff on this map, which is pretty uncommon, I think. But you can sell your chaff if you can't be bothered turning it into silage. Um, you can sell it after you've cut it, which is a nice touch. Um, there we go, the US Postal Service, auto parts, the water tower there as well. And then we head over the bridge here. I'll show you the North Dakota sign on the other side. There you go. Welcome to North Dakota. And we will pull in here because this is the fourth of the named farms and again lovely layout here nice I like the fact this one's stretched out a little bit further so you've got your sheds there's your workshop your animal barns your blowers in place there head up here fuel point there 
and then you grain dryer up here. Actually, I think of, of all of the maps, this this is of all of the farms, this is the one that I uh, I would quite fancy starting on. Um, but yes, really nice little setup there. Really nice little setup. Some lovely big fields as well. And for you guys who get upset about hedges and stuff, no hedges. You can turn your, you can turn your stuff around at the edge of the field. Don't you worry. But uh, there we go. Now we're back on North Dakota side. I think the uh, I think the town on this side is slightly bigger, but fire departments there as well. So if you really want it, I mean, talk about a role play opportunity here, right? Get yourself a couple of uh, fire engine mods as well. I mean, there's a there's a brilliant role play opportunity on this map. It's so so much character in it. It's great. Um, there you go. Fertilizer, buy and sell point in here as well, and seed. Good to see. That's a very good point. I can't believe I missed that. I'll go back for it at the end. Um, so down the high street. Excuse me. Back past the football field. Look at me, it feels like it feels like a proper town, right? Back at Burger King again, making you feel hungry. Huge dealership here, the lovely case dealership. Even the signage on the inside, I love I love all this stuff as well. You annoy him by just parking there. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. There you go. Look at all this stuff, it's brilliant. So good. You could literally fit a bus through there. What is his problem? It's like the red velvet inside of my truck as well. Nice, right? So actually, here's a that's a great question to ask the man while he's here with us. DJ, plans for FS22? I guess it's a case of waiting and seeing at the moment what the requirements are for upgrading maps, but... Uh, the assumption is it's going to be relatively straightforward to uh, tweak these maps for FS22. Obviously, they're going to be uh, the new engine helps make them optimized uh, a little better. So, uh, from that perspective, I think uh, it should be quite good fun, right? Nothing fundamental is changing in the way they do stuff. I am trying to read the chat and drive. We all know you should never read and drive. It's America, people don't know how to drive. Okay, thanks, Chef. That makes me feel a bit better. Right, let's head back up here because I do want to show you the whiskey distillery. Now, obviously, I put a whiskey distillery on my Bulls Gap series. Um, Look at this, we're absolutely melting along at 84 miles an hour. This truck's still got some kick. Ken God, unfortunately, it is um, only PC. There's just too much, uh, too many scripts. Uh, it's quite high, uh, high res as well. Lots of uh, uh, custom textures and things like that. So, no, it is unfortunately not available for consoles. There we go. Heading back into Canada. Do you like that? The Big Mac. Not without Canadian beef farmers. Look at that. Even the billboards are appropriate. Am I going to do a Let's Play on this map? Um, I might. I'm going to have a private Let's Play on this. Because... Uh, because it's that good. Whether or not I will start a series on, especially with FS22 around the corner, I'll maybe bide my time a little and see what's going to happen, but I'm certainly going to play it on my own, because I do have quite a few little... Uh, you know you can smash through the barriers on the board. Well, we're going to have to give that a go before we finish, aren't we? There's another co-op, another sell point there. And there it is. I was thought I'd lost my bearings again then. And again... Another uh, 
bail cell point on the Canadian side of the map. And the animal buy and sell point there as well. And we will roll around here to this place. So here is... Uh, do you know what? I love this because I've not seen it in this format before. We've obviously got whiskey uh, sell points, but I've, I love what you've done here. Um, truck guy, um, I understand that you hate it. But um, you have to understand that PC has got more flexibility in it than, than a console. The consoles are locked down by Sony and, and Microsoft, so it's not a giant's problem. It's a Sony and a Microsoft problem because they don't want scripts running in games that could potentially cause a security hazard uh, and you could hack games and hack consoles and things like that. So they lock it down so you can't have that. We've got more flexibility on PC, so I understand you hate it. Um, but unfortunately, that is the way it is. Giants can't do anything about it. The modders like DJ can't do anything about it. They can only work with what they're, they've got available to them. So I understand, but um, there's a reason that uh, there's a PC market out there because you have that flexibility that you don't have with, uh, with consoles, unfortunately. Anyway, I digress. Clutch's Special Brown Canada's Finest Whiskey. I would challenge that. I would challenge that. The K-Bot Distillery, I reckon this is... This is almost like moonshine. If it's anything to do with clutch, it's almost like moonshine. Uh, but um, really nice touch, this. Um, you... Let me find the, the readouts. So you've got three readouts here. You've got one there, and you've got two here. And basically, if you, can, if you go into your global companies, you go into your whiskey here... Um, click in your whiskey production you need to add maize and barley in so again that might help you decide which uh, crops you want to grow here you maximize how much so you can add the water in you could uh, you could also bring that in a tanker you don't have to um, you don't have to kind of buy it but it's find it easy it's kind of an easy way to do it like that and then your maize and your barley look in fact oh, do you know what? I'll max it out you could be really lazy if you want to just buy all your wheat and barley the amazing barley, and then it kicks in, like so. And there you go, it's starting to tick down already. So we will find out. In fact, that's our first whiskey out. And look, he even took the time to update the logos on the uh, on the boxes as well. So even those say, even those say, clutches there. Uh, special brown so it's a this is really nicely done i wonder if one day somebody will make a distillery farm sim guy whiskey <laughs> so james the propane you just buy it so if i go here so let's open that up here if you go into the corn dryer if you click oh, i bought there so let me go to foster farms uh, you click on propane, you can add uh, 500 litres at a time, uh, or you can uh, max it out and just buy it there. You've got the textures from Clutch himself. Brilliant. Love it. There you go. The smoke is going. The whiskey's. The whiskey is being made there you go I'll bump the time up a little bit there you go a whole case of whiskey there there you go you can see the logo a bit better now so nice touch I love the fact that you put whiskey in here I think it's uh, a great production and I'm really excited I have to say how, how much more we can expand this for uh, for FS22 the different productions and things like that it's going to be really really exciting so so there you go. Um, really nice. Really nice. So there you go, guys. Um, that is Red River Valley by Mr. DJ Modding, who has done a phenomenal job. I think you can just tell from this little tour here. 
uh, how much is going on on this map and how busy this could keep you. We're about to smash through the border here, by the way. Get out of the way of the blue car there. Coming through! Yeah! Stop me now! Uh, and we're into North Dakota. Oh, that blue car's getting in the way. Yeah, oh, beeps us on. But yeah, no, absolutely brilliant work. It looks like a really good, fun map. Um, so much character, so much roleplay potential here. I mean, I've never done a roleplay series, really, like a proper one. But I can see myself if... If uh, if they're a bit slow with the mods coming for FS22, and um, I could see myself starting something. And if not, I'm guessing DJ's going to update this relatively quickly for FS22 as well. I... Uh, yeah, stay tuned because I can absolutely see this being a roleplay map. Um, so there we go. There we go. Red River Valley by DJ Modding, an absolute gem of a map. Gem of a map. And thank you again, DJ, for sticking, working out this, you know, even with 22 around the corner and not putting it on the scrap people waiting till 22 because... There's a lot of people still playing 19. So, uh, awesome. There you go. I'm going to leave it there. I was promising I was going to keep this relatively short tonight because I wanted to make sure you got to see the map. Um, but uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining. And uh, thank you, DJ, for joining us as well. A guest of honour tonight. Uh, and letting us uh, show off this brilliant map. So, there you go. A little Monday extra. Don't usually do a vid on a Monday, but... Uh, uh, there you go, you got one tonight. So, for uh, for me, have a great rest of day or evening or night, and uh, we'll catch up again very soon. West Texas tomorrow with Args. Um, that's already edited and done. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we do on Wednesday. Might have to not do a stream on Wednesday. We'll see how things pan out. But uh, if not, we'll find something else to do. But for now, take care. Have a good one, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.